Would you like to know that what is the importance of various references that we have in Microsoft Excel? Especially, you would like to know that why we are using the references and where we'll be using the references. Then please stay tuned to this video. Hello all, my name is Sambir Wadia and currently I'm working as a BI developer and I'm also working as a IT trainer on freelance basis. So welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be talking about the three types of references that we have in Microsoft Excel. So they are known as relative reference absolute reference and the mixed reference now I hope that you must have seen my earlier video which focused on the various formatting options that we have in Microsoft Excel if you have not seen then I will put up the link above so please check that video so I'm already having a playlist of this Microsoft Excel so whether you are a beginner or whether you are intermediate uh, user definitely you can watch out all the videos in this particular tutorial so looking forward to see you in my further videos so let us continue with this topic of relative absolute and mixed references now here you can see that in our excel file we'll start with the first of all the relative reference here so here i've given the definition of relative reference that is a relative reference in excel refers to a cell address that changes automatically when a formula is copied to another location it is the default reference type in microsoft excel it is useful for applying the same calculation across multiple rows or columns so first of all we'll start with the first line here that a relative reference in Excel refers to a cell address that changes automatically when a formula is copied to another location. Now let us see here with the help of an example. In this table we are having total four columns. So we are having the salesperson, revenue, expenses and profit. Now I already mentioned in my previous video that here if you see this value 25.000 so it is not decimal it is comma. So it is 1000 separator. So here in Germany we have the dot as a 1000 separator. So this is 25,000, 34,000, 27,000 and so on. Now here we would like to calculate the profit how to calculate the profit profit as you know that it is revenue minus expenses so i'll be putting the formula here and i'll be calculating the profit for john and then we will see that how we can calculate the profit for the other salesperson so first of all i will put my pointer over here in this cell e3 and then here i'll be typing equal to this c3 minus d3 so very simple profit is equal to revenue minus expenses so it is c3 minus d3 i press enter and now here we are getting the value 14550 so here we have calculated the profit of one salesperson that is known as john if i want to calculate the profit of matt then definitely here also i have to manually type the formula and then i will get the answer similarly for the other salesperson also i may have to type the formula manually and then i'll be getting the answer but as you know that in case of excel we have a very good feature if i write the formula in the first cell then i can drag the formula down so that i don't have to write the formula again and again so what we do here that we have written here the formula in this particular cell that is known as e3 now we will drag this formula here so i will drag this formula down by putting my pointer over here and with help of the mouse i'll be dragging the formula down so now here we are getting the answer for each of the salesperson so here i can see the profit of all the salesperson and if i double click let's say this particular cell so then here the formula is automatically written that is equal to c6 minus d6 if i click here this particular cell that is e8 cell i double click then here i'm getting the answer equal to c8 minus d8 whatever we are seeing here this formula by dragging the first formula then here it is known as a relative reference because in this cell we were having the formula equal to c3 minus d3 when i go down in this particular cell now it is c4 minus d4 so what happens that when we are dragging the formula down then it is not taking every time c3 minus d3 c3 minus d3 it is now taking the relative reference so when you go to the next row it will take the one cell from the revenue column and one cell from the expenses column in the second row it will be c4 minus d4 when it goes to the third row it will be c5 minus d5 then c6 minus d6 so this is known as relative reference here if you see the definition again that is a relative reference in excel refers to a cell address that changes automatically when a formula is copied to another location so when we drag the formula down or maybe if we drag the formula on the right hand side the formula is copied and then we'll be taking the relative references here now the second sentence is also very important that it is the default reference type in ms excel so whenever you drag the formula it will be always relative reference it is useful for applying the same 
same calculation across multiple rows and columns so it is useful that we don't have to type the formula again and again i can simply drag the formula down or on the right hand side and it will give us the answer so i hope that this is clear to you that is the relative reference this is the simplest reference that we have here in microsoft excel now we will switch over to the next sheet here and that is talking about the absolute reference so first of all, we'll see the definition of absolute reference. So here it is written, an absolute reference in Microsoft Excel refers to a cell reference that does not change when a formula is copied or moved to another cell. We use dollar sign to lock the row and column that is locking cell. Example, dollar $B, dollar three refers always to cell B3, no matter where the formula is copied. This absolute reference is used in calculations like fixing tax rate, specific conversion factor, etc. So let us understand this absolute reference. We are having the mark sheet of these various students and they've got the marks out of 100. So now here I want to calculate the percentage of each of the student. Now we know that if you want to calculate the percentage, it will be the total marks divided by the overall marks. So 80 divided by 100, it will give me the percentage of John. So here in this particular cell that is known as D4 cell, I'll type equal to C4 slash C3. So C4 is containing these 80 marks and C3 is containing the 100 marks. So 80 divided by 100. If I press enter, it will give you 80 percentage. Now what I want to do that I want to calculate the percentage for Matt, Sam, Julie, Maria, Sebastian, etc. So as we have done in the earlier sheet, now I'll be dragging the formula down and let us see that whether it is giving the correct answer or not. So here you can see that we are having 81 percentage. Now see the mark that Matt has received is 65 marks. Now 65 out of 100 here we should be getting 65 percentage. If we see Sam, then Sam has secured 75 marks out of 100. So here Sam has to get 75 percentage as the calculation. So here all these calculations are wrong. If you see this Maria, then for Maria, she has got 35 out of 100. So her percentage has to be 35. So this percentage is almost nearer to what we expect. That is instead of 35, we have got 37. That is a little bit fine. But the other percentage here, all these other percentage are totally wrong. Now why they are wrong? If I double click this cell, that is D5 cell, what is the formula written now? Equal to C5 divided by C4. What is C5? C5 is this one, 65. 65 divided by C4, that is 80. So 65 by 80, it will give us the answer 81. So as such, the calculation is correct. But what I want here that I want to divide 65 by 100. So it has to be equal to C5 divided by C3, not C4. Then if I go to this particular cell that is known as D6 cell, if I double click, then here it is written equal to C6 divided by C5. So C6 is 75 divided by C5, that is 65. So this is also wrong. It should be 75 divided by 100. So it, it has to be equal to C6 divided by C3. Here what we are having that when we drag the formula down, so in this particular cell, it was C4 by C3. When we drag the formula down, then here it will be C5 divided by C4. Then it will be C6 divided by C5. So here, when we drag the formula, we are having the by default relative reference. Now here, what we want to do that we want to fix up this particular cell that is known as C3 cell, because every time I have to divide all these numbers by 100. So we have to fix up this cell. It should not change. The denominator here should not change it. It should be always 100. So now what I have to do that in this particular cell that is D4 cell, I double click and now here if I want to fix up this C3 cell then I have to type here what dollar C dollar three dollar C dollar C means if you put dollar sign before let's say row or column it means that you are fixing that particular thing so if I put dollar C it means that I'm fixing up the column that is the C column if I'm putting the dollar sign in front of three then I'm fixing up the third row and if I'm putting the both the dollar sign it means that I'm fixing up a particular cell so here we are fixing the cell that is known as C3 so this is how we can fix of the cell that is dollar c dollar three so i press enter so now here the answer is same 80 percentage okay now i drag the formula down and when i drag the formula down now you see 65 65 75 75 95 95 35 35 so now here all these percentage are correct if i double click let's say this cell that is d9 cell if i double click now here it is written equal to c9 slash dollar c dollar three so everywhere you double click you will get in the denominator the same cell that is known as c3 
dollar c dollar 3 got the point so this is how we go for the absolute reference in absolute reference we always fix up a particular cell remember that part and we are putting both the dollar sign we are putting the dollar sign in front of the column also and we are putting the dollar sign in front of the row also so that is what we mean by the absolute reference so now here it is written again an absolute reference in excel refers to a cell reference that does not change when a formula is copied or moved to another cell we use dollar sign to lock the row and column that is locking the cell example dollar b dollar 3 it refers always to cell b3 no matter where the formula is copied and these are the examples of usage of the absolute reference now let us go to the final reference that is the mixed reference so now in the mixed reference it is written here a mixed reference is a cell reference that locks either the row or the column but not both it is a combination of relative and absolute references example dollar a1 or a dollar one useful in multiplication tables matrix calculations or dynamic data lookups here we are preparing a multiplication table so in the rows we are having 10 20 30 40 50 and in the columns also we are having 10 20 30 40 50 now here i want to create a multiplication table so if i take this particular cell that is known as d5 cell then i have to multiply 10 by 10 so here I should be getting the answer 100 here I should be getting answer what 10 by 20 so here it should be 200 so that is what I want here okay and finally here it should be 50 by 50 so it should be 2500 so I want to create this multiplication table with the help of a formula so here if I start writing the formula so what it will be it will be equal to c5 multiplied by the d4 so here I type equal to c5 multiply so over multiplication we put the star multiply by what d4 10 multiply by 10 that is equal to c5 multiplied by d4 i press enter so i'm getting here answer 100 okay now when i drag the formula down now it is giving me something else see here we should be getting the answer 20 by 10 so it should be giving the answer here 200 here we should be getting the answer 300 here we should be getting the answer 400 and here we should be getting the answer 500 but here we are getting very very large value why because it is just doing the relative reference here we don't want relative reference here so now how to fix up this problem see remember one thing that what is mixed reference mixed reference means either we fix up the column or we fix up the row we cannot fix up both the things we have to fix up either the row or we have to fix up the column now here when we drag the formula down so what we have to do that in this cell we are having the formula equal to c5 multiplied by d4 then here it should be c6 multiplied by d4 in this cell it should be c7 multiplied by d4 so suppose if i focus on these cells so what are their references here c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 so what we have to do that whenever we see either the column or the row which is getting repeated then we have to fix up that particular row or particular column so in this example we are having c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 so the c column is getting repeated so i have to fix up only the c column not the row 4 5 6 7 8 because 4 5 6 7 8 that is changing so in this cell i change the formula here instead of c5 i put here what dollar c5 i put here dollar sign in front of the c and then in front of phi i don't put any dollar sign we are fixing up here what column because it is getting repeated when we go down c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 so c is getting repeated so we fix up the c column so we type here dollar c5 multiply by d4 i press enter now let us drag the formula down when i drag the formula down it is still not giving me the answer here also it is dollar c dollar six and d5 yeah so here it is still not multiplying 20 by 10. now here when i go on the right hand side then what is this cell here it is d4 this is e4 f4 g4 and h4 so here 4 is getting repeated so i have to fix up the fourth row are you getting it so here in this cell i type d dollar 4 because 4 is getting repeated on the columns and c column is getting repeated on the rows so now we have to just go for the final formula here that is equal to dollar c phi multiplied by d dollar 4 because 4 is getting repeated so we are putting the dollar sign in front of that 4 i press enter so now here i drag the formula down see now it is perfect 100 200 300 400 500 and now if i drag the formula on the right hand side it is also giving me the perfect answer 100 200 300 400 500 and now i drag the formula totally down so now i am getting the perfect 
multiplication table. This is what we mean by the mix reference. So in the mix reference, either we fix up the column or we fix up the row. So I hope that all these three references are clear to you. And remember that these are very, very important references. Without the knowledge of references, you will not be able to work with the formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel. So please go through this thing and please do the practice and that will really help you. Now in the next video, we'll be talking about one concept which is known as text to columns. So suppose if we are having some text and if I want to convert that text into some columns, then how to do it? So please stay tuned to this next video. Please also subscribe to my channel and also go through the Zero to Hero Microsoft Excel playlist. Okay, so that will really help you and become excellent in Microsoft Excel. So thank you very much again and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.